this video is a preview of the World FIDE Championship match between Yepi Machi and Ying Liren. So my prediction, I think Yan Yepi Machi is a heavy favorite to win the world title. Of course, Magnus Carlsen is not playing. So why is that? In high stake games, notably the Candidate Season 22, Yan Yepi Machi won against Ding Liren. And second, Yan has played a world championship. Ding Liren has never played at the highest level. Let's go to the games. And this is the position where Dingeren had the white pieces and Nipimiachi had the black pieces in a candidates tournament 2022, a fairly recent game. And here in round one, Nipimiachi shows its flair and how he goes for the attack. This is a rook lift. The rook comes here, it's gonna swing over here, attacking the king. Nepimachi is a very aggressive player. You see the game. And now we can see all the pieces are ready for the action. So Ding Liren is trying to attack b7, but the problem is how to defend the white king. And here, in a typical fashion, how does Yan Yipimachi increase the pressure? Well, he's ready to open the line. G5. He's taking here, and of course, Ding Liren's trying to fight back, but there's no way to defend. So here, um, white is up material, but how you defend against Queen H1 checkmate? Ding Liren tried F4. Check, picking up the rook, and here, bishop h3 check, and white with line. Let's go to the line, you have to take, check, check, and here the brilliant queen h3, threatening queen g4 checkmate, and there's no way to defend. If you like that, simply check, and we're gonna checkmate very soon on g4. Let's see another game. Okay, this was one game, but in 2021, Nepimiachi played with the white pieces against Ding Liren. And once again, the Russian player prevailed. So here I'm gonna go to the opening. This is a Spanish opening, Ray Lopez as well. And this is an absolutely classic way to develop. Both players know the theory very well, but Nepimachi had a bit of an edge in this position here on move 18. Black had to play knight e7. Instead, Ding Liren went on d4, but now white has a little plus. Nothing crazy, but white can press. Why is that? because you have a superb knight versus a bishop and this favors a bit white. So now let's go to the critical moment. In this position, there was only one move and the move that black had to find was queen f5 with a deadly threat, check and checkmate. Instead, Ding Run played Queen g4, same idea. Queen f3 and threatening checkmate. However, against queen g4, white played queen d5, defending along this diagonal. It's a small difference, but against queen f5, 94, and now only queen g4, the game will continue. But here you have bishop f6 threatening the knight and that is very dangerous because you're threatening still to come over here. So in the game, queen d5 attacking the queen and now Ding Liren try rook c5. Once again, you cannot take because you would be checkmated. However, of course, Nipomachi saw that, give a check. And now this is a key moment. Maybe black was hoping to go into the end game. 
If you give a check, black plays g3. And after that move, rook b6 is a killer. Why is that? Well, you take, I take, and I take. Now the power of the h3 pawns, you have a back rank checkmate. So this is why in this position, exchanging the queens is not good. But of course, Nepo saw the best move. And after thinking for four minutes, find a very nice 9g1, protects f3, and eventually you're gonna capture on h3. And this is how the game ended. The rest is very logical here. What do you do? Now you can exchange the queens, and you're gonna be able to snatch that pawn. So rook d1 was play and f3. And now if black captures, I'm gonna be able to take here and you have a fork. Let me show. In this position, simply black resign. Rook d3 would be met by knight h3. And you cannot even take here. If you take here, you have a way to finish a game. So again, a very tense position starting from a very classic opening, but in this position, um, Nipomachi outplayed Ding Liren and was able to score a convincing win. So now I think that Nipomachi is slightly, you know, the favorite and is extremely aggressive and extremely gifted tactically. So let's see a few uh, tactic games when Nepomachi shows how he can calculate his way through complex positions. Here, Nepomachi was playing white against French GM Etienne Bacro. Can you figure out the move played by Nepomachi, the challenger? And here, he played the brilliant knight g5. Let's say if you ignore the threat, I take on d5, and now I take on f6. Black cannot recapture because there's a checkmate on h7. Of course, the GM with black saw that to on e4. Now, queen e4, we do have a threat over here. We're also attacking everywhere. So black took the knight while recapture. Once again, we have a deadly threat of rook h5. So here, knight f4 played, defense h5, and attacked the queen. Nipo took, check. And now, this was a very uh, complex position. What did Nepo play to finish the game? That was played at the chess Olympiad. He gave a check and now play the fantastic g6 and black simply resign why is that let's say you know you try to bring back the knight to the rescue you have a very nice check queen h1 and you finish with a flourish let's see another example in this position Yann Nepomniachi is playing with the white pieces against Duda. This was placed in 2021. This is white to play, and here Yann uncorked rook b6. Now Duda played queen a8, but why couldn't black take the rook? That's because there is check. Check. Only move is to take the knight, otherwise I'm going to checkmate on g8. And here we give a check, we give another check, and now queen e6 with a winning queen's end game. Now in the game, do that try queen a8. And here, how do you finish the game? Rook b7, threatening queen g7, g4, and you're gonna have checkmate and black resign.
And in this position, the Pemiachi shows once again he's a great attacking player. His knight is attacked. You retreat the knight, let's say to d2, or to a1, or you go for the offense. The answer is knight c5. Now, black did not take because then you would take on f6 with white, then queen f4 threatening queen h6. The queen has to come back. You have a great attack on the dark squares. So instead, black played rook a5. And now, showing his incredible vision, what was the brilliant move played by white? And the answer is, Nipomachi played 97. Again, Rublevsky in the Russian Super Final Tournament. Now, obviously, take like that, you win the queen. If you take with the knight, you also win the queen. And if you take with the queen, now once again, bishop a6, and here simply queen a4, and you have no defense, again, checkmate into moves. So seeing that, desperately, black tried knight h5, there was a few exchanges, And here, after bishop b5, one white, sorry, won the game. This is a crushing position for white. So once again, this was another example showing that Nyan Nipimnachi is, in my view, the favorite to win the match against Ding Liren. I'll see you in the next one.